Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how to um, beat Impoppable on Resort. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This is no monkey knowledge, and we're going to be using Quincy. So, yeah. No monkey knowledge, and we're using Quincy. We want to get crossbow on this guy right here with a very quick darts. If you have monkey knowledge, it's perfect. It will better you in this run. But for the sake of the people that don't have monkey knowledge, I'm just going to be playing without it. Yeah, in round 15, you want to use Quincy's crossbow. You don't have to, but it'll just make the rounds go by faster. And it'll make it easier for you. Get a farm as soon as you can. After you get crossbow monkey. Increase production. And get greater production. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can fit a range in there. Nope, I don't have the correct placement. And then if you don't, then you can just place it right here. And you want to go bottom path. And for leads, you want to get a bomb right here. And get frags if you can. Like that. And this will be your defense for a while. Just this. And cluster bombs will be your defense for a while. Until the first Moab comes. Yeah, now we need now we need to start farming. Can't squeeze one in there. I wish you all I wish you could. If you have the monkey knowledge that makes greater, that makes the middle path better, then um, eventually you want to, you would want to sell these farms. But since I'm not using monkey knowledge, I will not, because eventually, once we start getting marketplaces, we're gonna want to start going middle path. But um, I do not have the monkey knowledge for middle path to be better than top path, so that top path is gonna be much better. So around like 39, you want to turn auto start off 
just so that you don't accidentally start the round and not be prepared. And if you want to, you can place a farmer down here, and then instead of, if you place a farmer down here, instead of getting marketplaces, you start going for banana plantations. That's only if you want to get banana farmer, or not. If you, and if you don't want to, then you don't have to get um, that. So this is going to be like the setup you want, and then you also want to start working on your boomer. Um, just place one down, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Now you can turn auto start back on. Get, um, you want to get middle path all the way up to tier 3. For now. And then, yeah. And if you have, if I'm ever going too fast for you, you can always just pause the video. And yeah. And get top path on your boomer for more damage against the mobs that are about to come. And on round 50, we're gonna sell all our farms to get crossbow master. But wait till like round 40. Okay, turn auto start off again because we're gonna sell the farms this round, or at least a couple of them. So that we have enough to get crossbow monkey. That's all we need. Just 25k. 26k. But close enough, you know. So two farms will be good. Oh, no. I have to sell all three. Or I could just sell one of these guys. If you really don't care about the NG, you can sell him. Um, which, wait. Let me just do a little calculations. I'm going to pause the video. So yes, it will be enough if you sell, sell the NG. Which is actually what I what I'm gonna do and I don't actually have enough so if you just send around you should be able to make enough right here boom get crossbow master and this will be a breeze so you can start farming again turn auto start back on I didn't do my math correctly but uh, it's fine because there's Normal balloons on that round, and we could have just used Quincy's, even if it was Quincy's ability, even if it wasn't, we would be able to get it. So, yeah. And if you have any other heroes, like Geraldo or Sada, I'd use those instead of Quincy. Uh, maybe Etienne, I don't know, I haven't used him yet. So, if Etienne is good, then I guess you could use him. And um, if you want another video except for doing chimps on resort, then like the video and subscribe for new for more content like this. We're gonna get a discount for no reason. I don't know why I didn't get it earlier. <laughs> that was kind of stupid of me, but I didn't. So let me try to squeeze one more farm in there. 
with this count. Maybe another. Let's see. Come on. It does not look like we can get another farm in there. But that's fine. We don't really need farms right now. Um, let's get cluster bombs and turbo charge. Because we're going to need turbo charge for round 80 once it comes around. So might as well get it earlier. And we're going to try to get um, perma charge as well. But we need to get a village real quick for camo on these guys. For DDTs eventually. And if you are using Geraldo on this with this strategy then i would recommend putting your fire on the turbo charge so that he gets because when you use the ability he shoots the fire shoots boomerangs instead which does way more damage it's an insane glitch so if you if you can do it then i recommend doing it so yeah and since we're using only primaries right now we're gonna get primary training and primary mentoring um, just for more damage on your primaries, so yeah, um, you want to get perma charge by round 80 to 90, because that will be ideal for us. We could use, you don't have to use that. I just did because I can, because um, it kind of it's cool ability. Um, yeah. If you're using a farmer, um, then you don't need, like I said earlier, you don't need these. Um, just go top, three to the top, and then middle as well. And go middle path. Because um, if you're using a farmer, it'll auto-collect. And those will make way more money than marketplaces. But since I don't have the patience to collect, I'm just using marketplaces. I it it's, collecting is also a very tedious task. So yeah, um, yeah. And I'll probably be making more BDB2 content if it. If, I mean, if I want to, I probably won't though, because BDB2 has been dying. Um. I might make balloons pop content though, if you guys want to. Um, also, if you want more My Singing Monsters content, just put a comment saying, We want more My Singing Monsters, and I will start making more My Singing Monsters content. And I'm also sorry that I haven't been posting in a while. I just haven't really been motivated to, and I've forgot a couple times so yeah but you can check out some of my older videos if you want more content that's just like this and I will work on posting more videos Once we get perma charge, we're gonna just start farming again. You might get perma charge at this time. You might already have perma charge. And if you do, that's good for you, but I don't. <laughs> so I do not care. Alright, get perma charge at this point. Um, perma charge will basically carry this whole run, so yeah. And now for extra bits of money, we can put Druids for Druid of the Jungle and Jungle Bounty. If you want to, you can put Autobots on them because they're pretty cheap and um, they're actually really good. I don't have any right now because I used all them. And if you want to get a different path on them, you go Hard Thorns, but just Hard Thorns. You don't have to go anything else. And eventually we're going to get Spirits of the Forest, and then we're going to get Hard Thorns on it. Or at least we're going to try to get Spirits of the Forest. 
And you're gonna want to place as many as you can in this little box if you have it still. I'm gonna turn my volume a little bit down. I'm gonna wait for this guy's ability to come up. And on this round, um, you're gonna want a perma charge, and it's an easy melt for round 80. Uh, one second. All right, we're back. And as soon as you get 40,000, 42,000, you're gonna get you're gonna want to get Spears of the Forest, which is honestly a cracked um, cracked tower. But we're gonna want to place it up here for more for more damage. So we might as well get that guy down right now. And they should all be relatively close to uh, the same cooldown. I just like it being on the same cooldown. It just makes it makes me feel better. <laughs> These guys are gonna be making mediocre money, but it'll add up eventually. So yeah, I mean it's worth it. Two ZMGs right here. Bonk. Largo. The 90, round 90 will, the 90, rounds 90 to 100 are going to be the hardest rounds of this run. So, yeah, just be careful about that. So, um, I don't even know what to do right now, but I'm just gonna get a spactory and get as far as I can on bottom path, and with the rest of my money, go top path. And eventually, we, we want to get perma spikes on it on this for 36k, which won't be a problem. And it'll probably be the last upgrade we'll be getting, so yeah. So at this point we can sell these guys and the village. Because we will not be needing those anymore. But keep this village, this village is good. And make sure to keep using this guy's ability. Uh, we want to save our abilities for round 95 and round 99, which are going to be the two hardest rounds of this run. So, yeah. Okay. And at this point, we can start selling all our farms to buy this and the rest of the money spend on Quincy level 20 or whatever the next level is. 
which is hopefully level 20. Because Quincy level 20 is actually going to pass. So, that is why we're using Quincy and not like Oban or Gwendolyn, you know, Striker Jones. Again, we want to save all our abilities rather than that one. That one doesn't really matter. Until 99, which will be the hardest round of this run. Not 100. 100 is really easy for this run. But round 99 is what can be the killer of this run. If we don't use our abilities correctly. Let's go. All right. This is this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Just give it a second. It'll finish soon. Well this is the end of the video. Hopefully you like it. If you do like the video, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Um and hit the notification bell. And I will see you at another point in time. Bye.